Today we're going to be using something called liquid watercolor. The color is already in the paint, but just like other times when we use it, when we switch colors, we have to go swish, swish, swish. And on your rag, you can go wipe, 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 because you don't want the colors to get mixed up. You're going to use the colors in front of you. The person across from you has the same colors on that side, or they will, and the person on the side will have the same colors on this side. Don't be shaking this. We're not going to move the thing back and forth. Leave it alone. You're going to just reach with your brush. Okay, on your big piece of paper, we're going to use symmetry to make both sides the same. You're going to fold your paper in half, and then on the side that's folded, you're going to start, we're going to make a half circle. We're going to start down here. We go, and you want to fill most of your paper. Fill it all the way over, up and around, and down to the corner. Up and around, and down to the corner. You're going to cut it out. Now, I have my big heart. When it was folded in half, it looked like this. I cut it out, I open it up, and I have a heart. Heart to take it and you're going to trace around the heart with a pencil. Now I have my symmetrical heart. I'm going to put my name on the paper and then you're going to take this squeeze paint. You're going to go around the heart with the black and then you're going to also divide up some shapes in the middle and after you go around. I can use different kinds of lines. I can use zigzag. I can use wavy. I can do some loop de loos and leave room to paint in between each section. There's mine. The cap back on the marker and we rinse it out every time we switch colors. You're going to decide what color. You want no two colors touching each other. It doesn't take a lot of paint. A little bit goes a long way. And you are very, very gently. We are not scrubbing the floor with the brushes. We are petting the cat. Nice kitty, nice kitty. Oh, it's a scared cat. So you want to be very gentle. Gently, gently pet the cat. So I might color in maybe two or three sections. And then I rinse my brush. Swish, swish, swish. You can even wipe it off on your on your towel if you want, and then change colors. Remember, I don't want two colors, the same colors next to each other. So I'm gonna try and divide up where I go. And now all my sections are filled. 